Brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing. Sulky Threads. Express yourself with sulky and create with confidence. Our exclusive fabric partners. Be sure to look for their newest lines of fabric. Hi, I'm June Dudley with Quiltmaker Magazine and this is Quiltmaker's Block Network. Today we're going to show you how to make Ring Around the Rosie, block number 760, designed by Cindy Weens for Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, volume 8. With us today is a special guest, Sarah Gallegos. Sarah is a Baby Lock representative and Sarah, why don't you tell everyone how you're going to make this block today? I am so excited to make this block because we get to play with some really cool techniques. We're going to utilize embroidery work software combined with the AccuQuilt Go so that we can create the applique shapes for the outside of the block. And then we're going to use that awesome needle guide beam on our Baby Lock Unity to perfectly place our embroidery designs. That sounds really fun. To make this block, you'll need one background fabric and assorted prints for the pinwheels and for the applique. Everything you need to make this block can be found on the side of your screen. If you need to write that down, you can pause the video. So now I get to do the fun part, creating the applique shapes using my AccuQuilt Go Baby. And I have fused the back side of my fabric with Baby Lock Applique Fusible Stabilizer. It's got a nice paper backing that I can peel off to place my embroidery designs later. And I'll layer those onto my daisy template. This has got two different sized petals. I'm using the larger size. So I'll place my fabric right on top of that. I put my six inch mat on top, crank it through my AccuQuilt, and I end up with these great little applique pieces. So here I have my triangle squares put together, and now I would sew them together in pairs, and then sew the two pairs together. And now with that completed triangle unit, I would sew my white rectangles onto the sides of it, and I end up with three rows. This is just a rectangle with two squares on each side, and then I would piece my three rows together to create the entire block. So here I am in my embroidery work software, and I've already loaded all of the AccuQuilt shapes. Every single template that you can purchase, the shape is available to download into your software so that you can create your own embroidery designs. So I'm going to left click on the Merge Design tab. It takes just a moment to load all of the AccuQuilt shapes. And here on the left, I can scroll through that whole AccuQuilt shape collection until I get to the daisy. Click on that and up pops all of the shapes that are on that daisy template, a large and a small circle and a large and a small petal. We need the large petal, so I'll double click on that and it appears right in my screen. I'm gonna use the grid on my screen to act as the corner of the design where I will be embroidering this, the corner of the quilt block. I can move my petal up just by dragging on screen, just a left click and drag, and I need to get it right into the corner at an angle. So I'm going to come up here where it says 90 degrees and just delete the 90 and type in 45 and enter and it puts that petal right at a 45 degree angle and then I can drag it right into the corner of my block. So that's our first design. We need to add two more to this. So I'll start by right clicking, copy, and a right click, paste. So you can see on the right side of my screen here that I now have two petal shapes and I need to move one of them into position. They are stacked right up on top of each other. Now I'll just click that right hand rotate icon. It rotated at 90 degrees for me. And I am going to drag it down into this corner so that the tips of my pieces are just about perfectly aligned. So that's two of my three. Let's add a third. I'll right click on the design, copy, right click and paste. And once again, they're right up on top of each other. And now on the right side of my screen, you can see that I have three petals. The third petal is stacked right up on top of the second. So again, I'm gonna left click and drag and just move that third petal into position. And from here, it looks like they're pretty well centered in that corner, but to really be certain, I'm going to zoom in. At the top of my zoom slider bar here, I've got a compass rose. I'm going to touch that, and that'll allow me to place this hash mark right at the center of my three embroidery designs. And now when I zoom in, it's going to take me to a full screen view right at the center of those designs. Instead of zooming into the center of the screen, it zooms me into the center of what I've designed. So I can just zoom way in. And now that I'm in nice and tight, I can see 
that my pieces aren't exactly aligned perfectly in the center. So I'm just going to touch one and slide it into position. And a second one and just slide it into position. And the third. And now when I stitch, I know I'm gonna have three perfectly aligned petals. I'll zoom back out. And there's our entire design. So I'll click on File and go to Save As. And I like to save the stitch and the working file. And here you could choose anywhere in your computer that you want to save that design. And we can give it a name. I'm going to delete that and just call it Daisy One. And save. That quick and easy, I've created the perfect applique design for my AccuQuilt shapes. I can save that design to my USB stick to put into my Unity now. So I've positioned my quilt block onto my sticky tearaway stabilizer here, and I was just very careful to make sure that I have centered that vertical seam line with the vertical center points on my hoop. So here I have the applique design that I created in Embroidery Works, and it is facing the wrong direction for the corner that I'm gonna place the design in. So I'm just going to simply rotate it 90 degrees to the right, and now it's facing the right way. I can close this menu and go into embroidery mode. Now it's showing me on screen right here exactly where it would stitch, which is gonna be about the center of my block, not where I want it. But I can very easily move it and position it using our guide beam. A red LED laser light now shows right on the fabric, and I'm going to use the arrows to move the design up and over to the right ever so slightly. So I get to the point where when I lower my needle, it goes right into the corner of my top triangle. I'm gonna go one click over and I lower my needle and I can see that it is just about right in the intersection of all my seams there. I'm happy with that placement, so I'm gonna lift my needle back up, lower my presser foot and stitch the first portion of the design. The first thing that it stitches for me is a placement mark. I've removed the paper from my sticky stabilizer on the back side of my AccuQuilt shape here, and I'm just going to layer it right on top of that marking and start the machine again and it will stitch it down. and it's perfectly placed. I just love how easy it is to attach those applique shapes with the sticky stabilizer and the AccuQuilt shapes. Next, it's gonna give me the outline for my second little daisy shape, and I'm ready to repeat the same process. So that flower shape is completely done. I love how it looks, and I'm ready to repeat the same process in the bottom right corner. And here is our finished stitch block. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's been a pleasure having you here. The pleasure was mine. And thank you for stopping by Quiltmakers Block Network. We hope to see you again soon. Remember that Ring Around the Rosie and 99 other fantastic blocks can be found in Quiltmakers 100 Blocks, Volume 8. Thanks for having me. Does that goofy or should I say something more to that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're doing that. <laughs> Wait, it's hard to talk to somebody this close. <laughs> Do I need a breath mint? <laughs>